Ten years ago, gates opened up in our world, letting in monster, and the awakened started appearing. These awakened people became hunters who hunted down the monster. At a different time and place, there was a young man who experienced harshness. The incident happened at school. He was hit with an ice block. It looks like the power of a hunter. The young man's name was Kang Ji Young. He received physical harshness from bullies at school, and Kang admitted he was just a loser. At the Awakened Specialization High School, all he have is the ability to regenerate. It's supposed to be an S rank ability, but not for him. He only felt severe pain as his body regenerated from the injuries received. The bullies attack him and laugh at him, when in his pain from the healing or regeneration. There isn't even any proof of the bullying left once he healing. Teacher and police, they can't do anything, at least to the S rank Awakened, who received special treatment from the government. The reason he enduring all that was because of his mother, and now his mother works in a restaurant she owns, because his father passed away five years ago. Kang will become a hunter when he graduates from school, to make his mother happy, so he will stay at this school even though he is feel pain. At least he be a C-rank hunter with his ability, his income will be small, but will be able to live somewhere better at least. Until the 15th coincided with his mother's birthday, a tragedy occurred that shocked Kang. Those bastards had beaten Kang mom into a vegetative state, his mother was seen lying unconscious with serious injuries, and they said it was an accident. The incident started when they came to Kang's mother's restaurant, then one of them tried to tempt Kang's mother with diamonds and she refused, and an unexpected incident happened. This young man's cell phone was tripped over by Kang's mother and fell to the floor until the screen of the cell phone broke. Suddenly she was attacked by the young man's skills, their abilities flew into a rage. He knows them, it was neither a coincidence nor a rage of their abilities. Kang experienced an awakening of his abilities, then his awakening was based on anger when his mother was in the hospital, and he knew who did this to his mother. At the foot of the mountain, they were relaxing talking about what happened to Kang's mother, and it looked like they didn't care. They calmly carried out such actions because they were protected by law, and also they were awakened. But for this young man, this was not the first time he had done this. Suddenly, while their conversation was going on, someone approached them, and it turned out to be Kang with his anger rising. Kang was very angry with them, because why did they do that to his mother, which made her go to the hospital with serious injuries. But this young man's face looked as if he had done something wrong and this made Kang even more unable to control his anger. Without thinking, Kang immediately attacked them with his anger, but the young man managed to attack Kang with his abilities. However, because Kang has the ability to regenerate, he can remove the pointed ice blocks from his body. The wide open wound closed again, as a result of the fast ability of Kang's regeneration. But the attack still did not stop, the young man attacked Kang with many large ice needles. Finally he attacked Kang with the ice needles, and Kang was hit by the attack, making him unable to move. Unexpectedly, Kang was still able to move from the many ice needle attacks aimed at him. Then it seemed like his anger made his regeneration power even stronger, and the pain he received didn't stop him at all. This young man told his friend Thor to attack Kang, who was still able to move, with Thor thunder, and Kang was hit by the thunder attack. After being hit by the thunder attack, Kang finally couldn't move anymore and he fell. Seeing that Kang was no longer helpless, they left the place, but it turned out that Kang was still able to move until he was holding the young man's leg. Seeing this he became angry, because Kang was very persist about continuing to fight them all. Finally, this young man hit Kang many times using his diamond fist, because he was fed up with what Kang was showing him, and he hit Kang hard and without mercy. The diamond punch that was directed at Kang didn't seem to work, and it was still visible that Kang was putting up a little resistance, so this made this young man annoyed. This young man asked his friend Sandman to roll the Kang with his sand, and he used his ability a little so that Kang couldn't move anymore. Seeing this, Kang couldn't do much. They planned to set a trap for him so that he couldn't move anymore. Seeing that, Kang couldn't do much made his anger rise even more again, and he ensured not to let them go, no matter what happened. The trap set for Kang finally succeeded, with the belief that it was impossible for Kang to get out of the trap. A trap that was so perfect made Kang couldn't do much because the entire wall was filled with diamond needles surrounding it. In the trap, Kang tried to rebel to get out of that place. Diamond, there's no way it would break. He was still trying hard to get out of the trap. Because of the pain, he lost consciousness, but because of his regenerative ability, he forcibly kept awake. The regenerative ability he has comes with pain, which Kang feels a lot every moment. Until the moment he couldn't hold it in anymore, but at the same time he remembered his mother. This regenerative ability won't even allow him to lose consciousness, and in that trap, Kang is completely helpless. So utterly powerless, but this is how his mother feels at the moment, and whatever happens, he will get out of the trap and finish them off. No matter what, no matter how long it takes, it doesn't matter. With mounting anger, he insisted on getting out of the trap. In a city on television, someone was seen interviewing the famous S-rank hunter. The three are famous for their kindness and do volunteer work. It turned out that the S-rank hunters they interviewed were Kang's enemies, that is Diamond Man, Sandman, and Thor. Then the interviewer asked about them, which hurt a civilian five years ago. 
because of an ability outrage, and this young man answered while crying that she was the mother of his close friend. This happened because he couldn't control his abilities, but it was all just a lie. He told the audience that he was very sorry and wanted to apologize to his friend, but he couldn't reach it. But suddenly he was attacked from afar with the door by someone in that place right in front of him. His reflexes were quite good, he managed to block off a surprise attack from an object thrown by the mysterious person. The audience ran from that place, then they saw that he was not human but a monster, and the monster walked towards them. He was confused about who this monster and why it was attacking him. Without mercy, the monster immediately attacked the young man with the power of his hands. How long he was unconscious, a few months or a few years, the diamonds didn't even get a scratch, but there's one thing, his regenerative ability was different from others. The continued injured triggered an excessive regeneration, and his regenerated into a stronger person than before, his exoskeleton came out. Inside that trap, he destroyed his entire body and regenerated pain. His body experienced tremendous trauma, but it was regenerating so it didn't feel good. The heavy blow hit the young man, then he flew away and hit the wall behind him. It looks like the monster who did all that was Kang. He managed to get out of that trap for many years, and now he will take revenge on them for his mother. Kang, with his body experiencing awakened and covered in hard bone armor, he came with anger, then prepared to defeat them all at once. This young man was still able to get up after receiving a blow from Kang, and he immediately ordered Thor to attack using thunder. After Kang received a thunder attack from Thor, it seemed that it didn't work on him at all, and he stepped forward to immediately attack. Kang directly attacked at high speed, using the bone sword in his right hand, so that Thor lost instantly. They were shocked and speechless at Thor's defeat before their eyes. At this time, Kang no longer had a human side in front of them. Without thinking, Sandman immediately attacked Kang from behind with his sand cage skill. This skill was what previously kept Kang trapped for several years. However, the hardness of the sand that tried to resist Kang inside was easily destroyed, and now he immediately attacked Sandman. But at the same time, when Kang defeated Sandman, this young man from behind directly attacked Kang with diamond fists. But his diamond punch didn't work on Kang, and without thinking, he immediately let out a rain of diamond needles so that all the diamond needles hit Kang. Truly beyond expectations, this young man was truly shocked by what he saw. His diamond rain attack did not work on Kang at all, and Kang was still able to stand up after being hit by the attack. His tenacity, anger, and desire for revenge are very high, so the more powerful attacks he receives, the stronger his regeneration ability becomes. Finally, this young man has no choice anymore. He will use his ultimate skill, a skill in the form of his body covered in diamonds. He immediately attacked Kang in various parts of the body in succession. It seemed that Kang couldn't dodge or move when he received the successive attacks from the young man, until finally the final blow landed firmly on Kang's head. However, Kang managed to block the strong blow using his teeth. When he saw this, the young man was suddenly shocked. After Khan managed to withstand this young man's attack, he immediately got up and counterattacked. He bit hard on the hand covered in diamonds while holding the young man's head. But with his remaining power, the young man was still able to put up attack. Then after he attacked Kang, he tried to run away. Kang wouldn't let him run. He immediately shot the diamond needle and hit the young man. Finally, the fight was over. Kang managed to defeat this young man, making him unable to move anymore. But this young man still didn't know that it was Kang who did this, so he took off his mask. In the end, he finds out that it was Kang who attacked them all, person they hurt in the past, and now Kang is taking revenge for this. After seeing the young man's face, Kang became even more annoyed, and in his anger, he immediately hit him repeatedly. Finally, he managed to defeat these people who had made his mother lie in hospital, and his revenge was over. But after doing all this, he felt empty and remembered his mother who was currently still lying in the hospital. Suddenly someone came to the place, and she introduced herself that she was Sim Jaeyeon, Korea's Hunter Association head. Kang was confused about why she knew about him, and she already knew about Kang during the incident five years ago. Without thinking, Kang immediately attacked that woman, but when he attacked, Sim said that she could save his mother. Then Kang stopped the attack. The effect of the attack caused by Kang is really strong, and here Sim confirms that the person who can save his mother is the S-rank healer. After hearing what Sim said, Kang finally decided to believe her and work together. The problem is that the hunters are too strong. Most military forces are no match for hunters. There are even hunters stronger than nuclear forces. But thanks to them, the monsters inside the gates have mostly been defeated. However, the gates were not disappear. The gates now without monster are being used as pathways, and nations are using them to fight wars with hunter. Even so our country doesn't have enough hunters, we couldn't stop the Japanese hunters for invading. Until Kang appeared, if we respond to Japan with hunters, it'll become total war, but a monster shouldn't be a problem. Now to prevent this from happening, Sim orders Kang to become a monster and take actions beyond humanity, even though he really doesn't want this, but all this is for his mother. In Japan, 
a place is called the Prime Minister's Official Residence. Inside, there were two people discussing about the Minister of Defense. This person asked about whether there were strong monsters inside the gate and strong hunters in Korea. This man's name is Ryuzaki Judo, Japanese Prime Minister. He's angry about why haven't our hunters taken over Korea yet. Then this man is Japan's number one hunter, named Ikusai Kajiru. He here will be responsible for that matter. Kajiru decided to go alone, but for this woman it was a dangerous thing, and suggested waiting for the others and then going together. But Kajiru refused because it was a waste of time. Then he arrived at his destination. He wondered why the other Japanese hunters still hadn't returned from this place, and he checked what had happened. Kang was seen in that place, and now Kajiru knows why the hunters didn't come back. He was the cause of all this. Kajiru who saw this immediately became excited. He immediately took out his sword and attacked Kang, but his attack was successfully blocked by Kang. Kajiru was surprised that his sword attack was blocked by Kang, and finally the fight between the two of them began. Kajiru made the first move, with the first step he hit Kang, while gathering energy in his sword. Then Kajiru immediately slashed Kang with his signature move, Kajiru first moon, so the slash sent Kang flying far away, but he was still able to survive. But it seems like Kang lost his balance a little, and Kajiru immediately took advantage of this to slash him a second time, and Kang was hit hard by Kajiru's combo attack. The attack still wasn't over, Kajiru still continued to attack him because Kang's exoskeleton was very sturdy. Kajiru still continues his third moon slash combo, which aims at Kang, but at the same time Kang had good reflexes because he was able to avoid Kajiru's combo slash, and he immediately counterattacked with the bone sword. But when Kang's attack almost hit Kajiru, he quickly anticipated it. He easily cut Kang's exoskeleton because his sword was harder than diamond. Kajiru immediately ended Kang. Kang finally loses in the fight against Kajiru, and he wonders why all these hunters can lose to this exoskeleton man. He also remembered past events regarding his father, and this made his mother work hard. When he was a kid, he was worried about his mother's condition. But every night he knows that his mother is very sad. Then Kang does something crazy, but it doesn't work because from here his ability regarding regeneration is revealed. Because of his abilities, he promised his mother that he would become the best hunter so he could make his mother happy. Little by little he began to realize, and also remember the words of Sim, that the world balance is broken, many nations have already been conquered by hunters, and his biggest enemy is Japan because of that. Currently, Kajiru is a stronger Japanese hunter, he will not just let this happen, and must resolve it as soon as possible. When Kajiru prepares to leave the place, behind him Kang seems to be still surviving and trying to regenerate his body. He immediately bit Kajiru's leg hard, causing him pain. He did not remain silent, and immediately slashed the Kang. Then now Kajiru will be serious, and will fight Kang with full power, then he immediately releases his ultimate skill. It looks like Kang has entered the range of Kajiru's ultimate skill, and he has been locked in that area. Kajiru suddenly disappeared from in front of him, as if there were a lot of Kajiru seen surrounding the area, which made Kang confused. Kajiru was preparing his attack, and something unexpected happened. After the preparation for his ultimate skill were complete, the unexpected thing was that he released the ultimate skill 12th moon, where this skill slashes Kang up to 12 times quickly, and in succession. The attack power thrown by the 12th moon is very broad, so it can pierce outside gates. Kajiru's attack ended with extraordinary destructive power, then he immediately left the place. Unexpectedly, when Kajiru was about to walk out, his other leg was attacked from behind. It was as if he didn't believe this, it turned out that Kang still survived Kajiru's ultimate attack, and his regeneration was getting faster. Kajiru, who was very annoyed with what Kang had done to him, immediately attack Kang again with his sword. From the outside can see people from Japanese Hunter waiting for Kajiru outside. It's been three days since Kajiru entered the minister's gate and hasn't returned. When Judo tries to check the gate, it turns out that Kajiru has lost his fight against Kang, and Kang is also seen coming out of the gate. Jugo who saw this was shocked and angry, but Kang immediately suppressed it. Unexpectedly, Kang's attack on Judo didn't work. It seems he also has the ability to regenerate. Not long after, Judo immediately attacked Kang with full power causing him to suffer heavy damage, and the ground was also destroyed. Judo's full power power was terrifying. The attack power was so great that the surrounding area was destroyed instantly. As a result of this, Kang immediately became unconscious. The power of Ryuzaki Judo was terrifying. A prime minister from Japan, Japan number zero, SSS rank hunter, Kang has met a difficult opponent this time because Judo is the strongest hunter in Japan. 